What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. Um, in this video, we are going to learn how to create the switch system. Okay, so last video, we have learned how to create lighting circuits without a wire. So this time around, in this exercise, we're going to learn how to create switch system. So let's get started. So as you can see, I'm here at the computer lab space 222. And you will notice I have here a couple of lighting fixtures and then I have an occupancy sensor switch and then below that I have four lighting fixtures and then I have one switch here so what I want to do is I want to connect these two lighting fixtures to this switch here so I want these two lighting fixture to be controlled by the switch here and then these four lighting fixtures I want this to be controlled by this switch here Okay, so how to create the switch system. So to do that, I'm going to select one of the lighting fixtures. And then from the create systems, so I have here switch. Okay, so normally if this lighting fixtures is not yet part of the circuit, so you will be able to see here two options. So you have power and then you have switch. Now, the reason why there is no power option here because this is already assigned to a circuit before. So if you notice the properties of that, it's already assigned to panel LP2B and then the circuit number is 2. So basically, this is already assigned to a circuit. That's the reason why there is no power option here. So we only have here switch because this lighting fixtures or this lighting fixture is not yet assigned to a switch. So I'm going to select the switch, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and select edit switch system. So this is one way of creating switch system. So later on, I'm going to show you the other way of creating switch circuit. So I'm going to select edit switch system, and then add to system is already selected. So I'm going to select the other lighting fixture, and then I'm going to select select switch. So I select that one. And then I will select this switch here. So I click that. And then I select here, finish editing system. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the switch. And then uh, change the switch ID here or put the switch ID. So let's say I'm going to call this A. Okay, and then I'll just select here, apply. And then you will see now that the tag here updated. So because this tag, it shows you the circuit number and also the switch ID. So if I'm going to select this tag and then select edit family to open up the family editor for the lighting fixture uh, tag. So as you can see, if I click this two question mark here and then if I select edit label, so as you can see that is for switch number and then switch ID for this two question mark, okay? The other one, let's select this one. Let's select edit. So that is for the type mark. So that's why type mark properties is also important. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to close this one and then I select no here. Okay, so now if you want to see the connection, so you can just uh, hover your pointer to one of the lighting fixture and then press the tab four times. One, two, three, four. There you go. Okay, so again, you hover to one of the element that is part of the circuit and then press tab four times. One, two, three, four. See? And then click. So it now highlighted the switch system. So if I check the property, so it tells me that is for my switch IDA. All right, so let's create another switch system. So let's do it another way. So this time around, so instead of selecting only one lighting fixture like what we did here, so I'm going to go ahead and click one of the lighting fixture, hold control, and then I'm going to click the rest of the lighting fixtures. Okay, and then again, I'm going to go ahead and select switch. I'm not going to select edit switch system. Okay, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to select switch and then select this switch here. So that is another way of creating your circuit or your switch system. So modify, so you can select now the switch here and then switch ID, so you can put the name. So let's say B, 
and then I select your apply and then again you can see that it's now updated right so again you can hover your pointer to the switch and then you can press the tab four times one two three four there you go and then click so it will now highlight that uh, line there that is pointing to your lighting fixture and then it tells you here that that is for switch letter B. Okay, so that uh, that's it for this exercise. In our next video, um, we are going to learn uh, how to create or methods for creating power circuits. Okay, which is, you know, circuits are used for the power lighting and data system. So we are going to learn methods for creating power circuits, which is circuit groups. So the concept of grouping similar functions into systems is to or is used to show logical connections between different components in the system. All right. See you on my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.